Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I want to show you Ether SX2 PlayStation 2 emulation on the Raspberry Pi 5 with Ubuntu 24.04.1. Now I have done in an earlier video Ether SX2 on Ubuntu 23.10 and I had some performance issues there with certain effects in, for example, Final Fantasy X. And I wanted to see if perhaps these issues were solved with a newer version of Ubuntu and perhaps also a newer version of the Vulkan driver. But unfortunately, that is not the case. But I found a fix. Now first, some words about Ubuntu 24.04 and there were some mixed reports. So the initial version of Ubuntu 24.04 for the Raspberry Pi 5, I also had severe performance issues and I wasn't the only one. But on the other hand, there are also people that said like, hey, new version and runs beautifully on the Raspberry Pi 5. Now it looks like that, um, yeah, so here someone says he filed the bug with Ubuntu. So here is that one. And when you look at this comment, this person says that it might have to do with the power supply. Now, this is one of the things that I wasn't really happy with the design choices of the Raspberry Pi 5, that they chose to go with 5 volt, 5 ampere, because that's not really that common. So uh, it seems that if you don't use the official power supply, or in my case, that I use a case with an NVMe drive and then it also complains that there might not be enough power for peripherals. So, but, well, the good part is, is that with Ubuntu 24.04.1 that I no longer have, uh, these performance issues. So I was also hoping that PlayStation 2 emulation might be better, but that's not really the case. And with the performance issue that I saw with Final Fantasy X, uh, you can solve that by setting the blending accuracy to minimum. So if we start Final Fantasy X, So let's just skip ahead to one of the places where we see this performance issue. So with this text effect, you can see that it really kills the performance. But if we go to the settings and then set the blending accuracy to minimum, You can see that it no longer has a performance issue. Now the emulation accuracy, yeah, that might suffer a bit, but at least uh, things uh, become playable again. And one of the 
other places is where it actually was a blocking issue. So this is very early in the game and that's where you can uh, put in your name. And you can see that yeah the performance is really gone and well i guess that if you wait long enough then you actually get to see the screen where you can input your name um, but even if you get to the screen then i didn't uh that wasn't really responding to the controller anymore ah, well here it is because I set the blending accuracy to minimum. And you can also see that uh, the speed is normal. Now, and one of my usual tests is the demi attack. So I'm actually on the original PlayStation resolution. So here you can see that, yeah, it really suffers a lot. So this uh, was no problem. And now with this demi attack, uh, there's no performance penalty. Uh, perhaps with the other one was that because it was um, with a bigger scene, you know, from overhead. Uh, so that was probably a bit too much for the Raspberry Pi 5. Funny thing is, is that um, yeah, on a Rockchip RK3588, when you're in this scene and have the demi attack, then sometimes you also see the performance penalty. And it's interesting to see that uh, I don't see the performance penalty when you're just in this scene on a Raspberry Pi 5. But I think in general, I still prefer the Rockchip RK3588 um, over the Raspberry Pi 5 for PlayStation 2 emulation. And perhaps also that because I haven't used the Vulkan driver uh, with Ether SX2 on the Rockchip. And I've been told that the Vulkan driver is coming the open source Vulkan driver and uh, hopefully that will also improve the PlayStation 2 performance on the Rockchip RK3588. So yeah, if you don't overclock your Raspberry Pi 5, I'd recommend to keep the resolution at the original PlayStation 2 resolution and also that you lower the blending accuracy. Uh, unless you have a game that never runs into that issue, then you might keep it at basic. So you can find it here, second tab, blending accuracy. So default is basic. Let's see, where do we have the... 
Oh yeah, here's the uh, resolution. So I have it set it to native. So this is, um, you could say, an update on my earlier video. And uh, luckily I was able to find uh, a setting to get things uh, at a normal speed on a Raspberry Pi 5 with PlayStation 2 emulation. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.